Okay, so this is the One How Duplicator 6, and this particular video we're going to talk about how to do an alternative uh, manual leveling to the bed uh, rather than running the script. And the reason why for this is some people have trouble running the script. They get the offsets wrong and then they either have a huge gap when they start the print or then they either ram the nozzle in the bed. It's one of these things where the instructions are a little tricky and people don't get it right. And so here's a method that you can kind of work around that and get a good manual level of the bed. So one of the first things we have to do is ensure that the printer is powered off. So we make sure that it's not turned on, the LCD is off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the X and Y motors. Sorry, I did that bad. That's X and that one is Y. Um, the reason why we're going to unplug the motors is that the current firmware, when you want to move the Z-axis, the table up and down, that the other motors go ahead and lock. And one of the things we want to be able to do is be able to manually move the nozzle around the bed space once we raise the table up. So we want to kind of be able to do this kind of manually. So in order to kind of bypass the firmware, which is going to try and engage those motors, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, just unplug them. Now the key is never unplug or plug in a stepper motor while the system is powered. You will blow the stepper drivers almost every time. So again, only touch those cables when the printer is powered off completely. So now with both cables unplugged, we're going to go ahead and power it on. Reach in the back and turn it on. And it's going to come up to the menu. And so we're going to go to maintenance, settings, oops, actually I went to the wrong menu there, sorry about that, I'm trying to do this one handed. Return. Let me go to maintenance, advanced. So we want to go to very simple. We want to raise the build plate. So we're going to go ahead and click raise the build plate. And then I believe it's still wanting the home left and right. So we're just going to go ahead and, and park the limit switches here in the corner. And it's going to raise the build plate. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and insert a piece of paper into it. So now it's going to home the system. Now what you may have wanted to do before you did that is, I know that this bed is level, but I may have wanted to tighten this screw up to compress the spring to bring the bed down closer to the actual Z stage. That way I'm not striking, but right now I can slide the paper easily. So what I want to do is come here so that the nozzle, if you can see in relationship here, the nozzle is as far forward as it'll go. I can manually move it and it's over top of that bolt. So then I can easily slide the paper. So now what I want to do is raise that up slightly and I can just feel the drag. In fact, the paper just kind of makes it almost vibrate. It's kind of a weird feeling. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do the back corners. So I want to slide it with the paper underneath and just ever so slightly raise it there. And now you can feel it the nozzle just ever so slightly touch. Now I'm going to go to this side over top and you want to make sure look visually that the nozzle, sorry about that paper being in the way, that the nozzle is lined up with where that third leveling screw is. Now just talk about that for a second. The reason why you want to go directly where the leveling screw is, is just a little, a little bit of geometry here. So if I'm all the way out at the edge when I do this, when I raise that point right here that's somewhere in the middle, this whole bed kind of rocks, okay? So when I measure that gap, I don't want to be in a rocking situation where I'm going to get a false sense of level. I want to be actually directly over top, if you can see it, that screw is right there, sorry for the bad lighting again, right in line with the nozzle. 
And the same way when I do this side, I want to be right in line with that third point. So this is a three point leveling system. So you do your three points and then anywhere where you're at on the bed, you can do a fine adjustment. But it should be perfect no matter where you're at on the bed right now. And that's it. So that's the basic uh, manual leveling sequence. So now what you're going to do is you're going to power down the printer. And we're just going to lower the bed just a little bit. We're going to plug in the nozzles, or plug in the motors, I'm sorry. And now, now when I go to advanced, And I raised the build plate. See, one of the things I saw there was, even though I told it to raise the build plate, it still wanted to home X and Y, which is why you have to move that head to the corner in order for it to be able to raise the Z axis. So let's try that again. Raise the build plate. And so now the build plate will come up. And we'll have our perfect gap but see the heads locked right now I can't move the head manually there's just no way I can move it because the motors are plugged in and they're engaged in this kind of natural state so that's why we do it the other way with the motors unplugged.